killing the thousand. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, like thousand refugees, and uh, if they would like to share our voices, uh, yeah. I think that's so, what the message is about. Yeah, absolutely, sure. I think that's the most important thing. Talk about the problem. Say, let's say, for you... example, yeah. Uh, yeah. responding to your question, our problem is job scarcity here in the camp. No, that's not our problem. Okay, that's a very good point, uh, Jean Marie. Sure, we want that's to. It's a very good point. You know, there. that's a very good point. You know, then yeah. this other client's problem that we discussed, right, is his coaching is not selling very well. Right, his coaching not selling well is not the problem. There is no jobs in the camp is not the problem. We need to understand this now. <laughs> Actually, the thing is about it's at the same time it's educating refugees. No, that's the thing. I think the problem. No, you got to be so, so chol chol. I see. Look, all that is what we are doing. Don't you have to be really? Um, we have to be, you know, careful. Uh, like, uh, you know, um, the. If you, do, if you don't understand your client's unique problem, you will never be able to solve this for your, your clients. Exactly. Right? Um, uh, in this case, you know, for example, Latoya, uh, she's uh, creating a, a marketplace for large properties. You know, people actually, uh, you know, rent uh, properties to go and stay uh, for small vacations. In the UK, in the US, everywhere, you know, there is a, a, a an amazing platform called Airbnb, where people can just, you know, book homes and stay. Okay, uh, what happened was, up to let's say five people, ten people, you know, Airbnb is the world's number one platform. But when you want forty people to stay for four days in the let's say Mombasa, you know, you want to organize forty people in Mombasa for four days. The problem is that you can't find a property to accommodate 40 people because you need like 40 beds and at least 10 rooms, you know, whatever, right? So what this lady has come up with is she has come up with a marketplace like Airbnb only focused on large properties. So her problem is how do we make people with large properties move away from Airbnb and come to her website. That's one part of the problem. The second part of the problem is how, do, how does she make the people who want to rent a large property do not go to Airbnb, but come to her thing. So these are the two, um, two you know, tactical, I would say, tactical problems that she has to solve. How do we make people to come to her to list the property and how do we make the people to come to her website to rent the property so listing and renting but both are tactical right <laughs> she but she, what is a real problem can anybody give a wild shot what is latoya's real problem uh, for me i think uh Latoya would have to create relationship first uh, with uh, uh, the other company. And then uh, Latoya uh, will try to show what he have. Then if uh, the other company will have demand on it, then they will come for it. Um, no, Chol, no, absolutely. You know, uh, you're going in the wrong direction. Um, I'm trying to find the problem of uh, Latoya's company. The, what is the problem she's trying to solve, right? I think it requires a bit of a deep thinking. You know, even Latoya herself was not able to answer this question. When I asked this question to her, she couldn't answer this very clearly. What is, your, what is the real problem that she's trying to solve? After five minutes of back and forth, we found out that the real problem she's trying to solve is large properties lose a lot of money by listing with the common uh, people, right? The common uh, websites like Airbnb or booking.com, they take a high percentage of money uh, 
right? Because if you have to book a four bedroom property, it will cost you, let's say, 100 euros. If you have to book a, a, a 10 bedroom or a 20 bedroom property, it will cost you, let's say, 5,000 euros, right? Per day. So what happens? They have the same percentage, like 20 percentage of the money will go to Airbnb or something like that, right? So they 20% of 100 is $20 and that's okay. But 20% of 5,000 is, is literally, you know, a lot of money, right? And that was the real problem. The real problem is the large property market is not, uh, you know, suitably uh, done uh, in the small property market. Uh, and, 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 and she has to talk about that problem to all the property owners and to all the property renters. If they don't talk about the real problem, you will get lost as one of the, you know, so, I mean, I just took one example. I mean, uh, the same with, you know, our own um, thing, right? We have to talk about the, the bigger costs in order for us to, um, you know, uh, make a big impact. Um, and therefore, that is why we are, you know, starting with the, with the thing. But at the end of the day, somebody, you know, we have to come to the point at some point in time, right? But we don't come to the point in the first message. Um, you know, the first message is simply to connect. You know, this has to yield the best connection rate, nothing else. Yeah. The second message, you know, we are usually, okay, 99% of the time people want to sell immediately. Right. But in, in our case, what we are saying is we are still staying on the point of the problem. You know, we are still talking about the problem. We are still talking about a big vision. And then we are still asking us, asking them to share their voice by liking and sharing our story. We are still not asking for a job or, you know, I'm going to help you do this. Nothing. We are building relationship. We are basically, you know, making them learn more about us. Right. At this point, you should, you know, I mean, just let's stop here, right? At this point, we, does the client have to act and share this or like the story? Is it possible to, you know, figure that out, whether the client likes it or this thing by going to this uh, thing? You know, we'll know it, right? If the client likes it or shares it, we'll know it because, you know, the, the, the link is there for all of us to see, right? It'll, it'll, it'll put the client's picture over here and you know, we'll, we can see everything, right? Um, this itself is, uh, is, is, is your, you know, like half, it's, it's like, you know, in your journey, you have reached your halfway point. You know, you have achieved engagement from a client. Uh, so you have achieved, you know, some success for the work that you started. Right, because you you do not know um, how many more people might be able to you know uh, the the message will go because one guy has you know just liked it or shared. So that is you know a good uh, you know successful thing, right? But that's not enough. We obviously you know call them to action. Uh, so our third message onwards, you know, we we call them to action. We don't start with the third message. You know, uh, you know, we go with the fourth message and call them to action and ask them for a job. We go to the fifth one and ask them for a job. We, it's relentless, you know, from the third message onwards, it's call to action, call to action, call to action. And if they, uh, you know, ha have a meeting, then we, we book a meeting with one of these people, right? And if the client wants you to explain anything else, you know, you we can start putting all the questions and answers over here so that, you know, you're able to, you know, get all the questions and answers. Does this make sense? Yeah. It's not perfect. Nothing in life is perfect, but this is not perfect, but it needs to be, you know, perfected, right? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll just want to, because this is so important. I want to, you know, just pause for the, for, for, you know, your comments and thoughts. Um, I think I'm super happy with the first message. The second message, I'm like, say, thinking, you know, the second message, you know, 
we are indirectly selling you know it's not like we're not selling right we are indirectly selling yeah because if they go to our website if they yeah, you know, but so i like, think yeah. it's a it's a, a bit wide range of messages yes uh, i'm trying to see if uh, these people will have all this time uh, for how long uh, will you estimate maybe you you have done the five message i think um even to me this was like my concern because uh with uh, some of the people that we meet, uh, they are like um, making a comment that they don't uh, several times uh, look at their LinkedIn because uh, LinkedIn has appeared to be uh, a platform where everybody's trying to sell. So they're receiving the messages from time to time. And uh, many of the time they ignore uh, looking at those messages. So if um, we have like um, four or five messages to the same person, um i don't know if uh, the person will, will have the time to look at it if only maybe they if if first feel the first impression of the first message really uh Im impressed him and then if i is touched with, by the first message immediately will respond without waiting uh, other messages to come We've tried that, Kisha. So we have tried to give the, you know, the the core of what why what we're trying to do in the first message, and it does not work for us. Yeah, my mine could be uh, instead of having uh, five messages, they could be reduced to three, uh, where we have uh, like the first one is very much perfect. And you have the second, and then the, the third should be a follow-up of a follow-up message on the second message. Because if somebody has watched our story and our story itself has a certain sense of selling, if we it, it can't come directly, then when we send him the second message, we should have, we should have some value proposition. And then uh, the third, which will be the if he doesn't respond, then we send him the third. Yeah. No, I agree. That's how it is. But what I want to do, so it is only three. Okay. The first is connect and, you know, do the relationship. The second is excite them emotionally. And, you know, it just takes them one second to click like or share, right? It's literally that much, one second. And if you are not even able to do that, then what are we? And the third is a very direct you know, call to action, sales, you know, point blank message. Okay. Um, how uh, we'll, we'll do that, you know, the third message, right? So we'll merge the third message and fourth message into one, um, you know, into the thing. But what I'm keen, I don't want to stop with this call to action. I see the, what happens is Keisha, um, I know what you mean, you know, so the one, two, three can go within, let's say a week or two maximum. Right, uh, somebody you you connect, then you send the second message, and then you send the third message. You finish it. Then after that, I think every month or every uh, two weeks, we can send a like a case study, or a, we can we can send something interesting because we we do not know at what point something could trigger some imagination. Right. So I do not want to stop with, you know, um, because these connections who have connected back with you, we want something to come out of them. Right. You, you understand, Keisha, you know, we, we do not want them to just be there and do nothing for us. Rather, we lose them. If they, if they don't want to do anything with us, Right? What's the point of being our, our connection? You understand, right? It's okay to, you know, uh, remind them with other things and, you know. So I agree with you. The first message is, you know, connect. Second message, you know, straight, straight to build the relationship. 
right? The third message is, you know, you know, make them uh, do something like, you know, so I'll make it into one message. And from the fourth message onwards, it has to be a constant reminder, a, a good case study, a good something. And I, I've got this idea mainly from our email campaign, you know, for the email campaigns that we're going to do for us and for our clients, every month we are going to come up with a new piece of content that we're going to be emailing to the same people every month. So from whatever I have read so far, they, the, the, they say that in email campaigns, nothing really happens after your first email, right? Like one or 2% of them will unsubscribe, right? And one or 2% of them will, you know, even see your mail or open your mail, right? But if you constantly give them an injection of new and fresh content every month, so you send a month, you know, one, one case study on January, another case study on February, another case study on March. You keep injecting new content and fresh content into their the thing. That's when the rolling effect would start to come up, apparently. It does it make sense or yes, and it is really making sense. Because then I said, okay. If 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 that is the strategy which will, then why should you not be you know make the same strategy in LinkedIn as well? We are connected with thousands of people. Why shouldn't we ask them? You know, so it's it's really two things. Either share our uh, there are two call to actions, Kisha. Share our um, story, or hire us to work for you. That's it. It's the same two things. Share our story. So. If you, if you don't do any one of them, then what's the point of you being my connection? You, you understand, Kisha? I think, you know, we, we, we need to get really um, uh, precise about this. I think, you know, you know, either you do this or you do that, you know, then uh, it, 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 something has to give in, right? Is what I'm thinking, you know. Um, so I'll I'll combine this. I agree with you. So it's it's, it's see again think again learn from this by using step up messaging sequence. I want to teach you on how you would have to work for your clients because this is very near. More than five six people have signed up already, and we have to keep creating new content for these people every month, right? So you have to really um, you know. How do we generate this new content every month so that you know every month we are able to push uh, some new content to all the people, you know, not just the thousand people that you emailed the first month, you know, the thousand plus another thousand that you're going to add the next month. Yeah, so so that's what uh, it's it's going to be. So um, um, and I'm uh, quickly I just want to also start off on on Twitter. Um, you know, uh, and um, the engagement messages, right? Um, on Twitter, it should also be very similar, but um, um, but you know the the links uh, that we are sharing here should be Twitter links instead of you know LinkedIn links. Um, that's the only thing. Uh, but otherwise, the sequence has to be similar in Twitter, and. Um, 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 I've I've collected you know almost uh, like half a million uh, Twitter um, accounts uh, that we need to be connecting to and uh, talking to, so they're all here, mm. right? Um, like this. Let me just quickly show you. So um, we have the Twitter accounts and the way I'm going to do, oh, do, do not this bad, bad, bad. Okay, no problems. Let me see. Okay, I'm just sorting by the number of followers. Oh, sure. uh, you don't need to do that. Uh, so usually people uh, with a huge number of followers, you know, is never going to be our, uh, you know, things. But so, you know, uh, the real people will start uh, at around you know thousand, two thousand, three thousand followers. That's that's where the real clients are. You know the guys with half a million followers. You know most of them will not even allow us to you know uh, tweet uh, 
uh, or send anything let's let's take one example like let's take this uh, you know yashar Oh, no, Twitter is going for a toss. Okay, we'll do this a bit later, but uh, it, it's going to be very similar, guys. Okay, it's going to be really similar. Um, you know, we're going to have a, a bunch of messages, you know, and um, we'll, we'll uh, you know, start the Twitter campaign. Um, just, I want to pause and ask you guys, like, how do we, uh, unfortunately, you know, I don't have a way to merge the LinkedIn campaign and the Twitter campaign into one. Uh, so it's going to be like, you know, slightly confusing, um, but, um, the good news is all of this will be very cool, you know, because it's, it's all going to be, you know, uh, coming into the 360 degree approach. Right. So, uh, it's, uh, like I said, the Twitter is going to be very similar, um, you know, we identify the person and, um, you know, I have done that uh, in a separate way, but my only problem is, you know, how do I distribute this to uh, all of you, right? Um, is this, is the thing. Um, I, I think, you re, do you remember the way we started with LinkedIn? Yeah. I think you, you can do the same way. Yeah, you mean like, um, sending like, to different uh, spreadsheets um you know oh yeah it can be hard for all the graduates yeah i get yeah it's going to be really hard because we, we are many now yeah i'm 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 just you know my you know we could easily upload this into um you know but they they'll be just you know so much of duplicates isn't it um that's the only small worry that I have. Um, um, but is a platform, you know, which, which we have completely unexplored, isn't it? So why should we let this, un, you know, platform go unexplored like this? We should not, right? We should not let this platform go unexplored. We should attack this platform and see what, you know, comes out of it. What if, what if we use uh, the other uh, the other account of uh, HubSpot, the, the, other, the one that we created for the clients, and then I uh, use it for Twitter, and then uh, send the invite to all the, the, the graduates to join? Um, it's too complicated, Keisha. We don't want to create more work for everybody, you know? Um, it, it's not a big deal, uh, uh, Keisha. What we could do is, you know, we could create like get CRM. We can easily create one more type of a thing uh, for Twitter and upload them, okay? And um, use that, uh, you know, to contact. Uh, it, it's just extremely complicated to, you know, mix everything, right? Uh, um, but, but, um, like I said, right, I think, you know, uh, my uh, idea is, uh, um, my, I'm, my, I'm thinking like this, right? I don't uh, just uh, think along with me. Um, we have, okay, let me just go to, um, you know, uh, see, we have, um, I'm just like thinking and writing here. So, you know, just uh, see, um we have our linkedin right linkedin um linkedin url right for everyone right this is for everyone uh, and the linkedin sequence right uh, this is for everyone right then we have the twitter url okay and uh, this is also for everyone and uh, using the twitter sequence as in like the twitter sequence of messages right then we have Apollo. Um, we have so far got Apollo around 50,000 contacts. Okay, Apollo thing. Now, this is what I'm really, Apollo, what we want to do, guys, I want to use the 360 degree, you know, um, sales approach. 
right? This is what I'm having in mind, you know. Uh, see, we need this kind of, um, uh, you know, uh, strategy because we, you know, not everybody is, will be able to get Apollo, right? But everybody can get LinkedIn, everybody get in Twitter, right? So we take advantage of, you know, uh, that everybody has LinkedIn, everybody has Twitter, everybody has Facebook. So let's give everybody a chance to, you know, fight for their own, um, you know, fight for their own thing. But we'll give a chance to the team leaders and group leaders to attack Apollo with a full on 360 degree approach. What is a 360 degree approach? We have already, you know, uh, put that right. Uh, we have given what is a 360, you know, identify your ICP, research about them, connect with them on LinkedIn, connect with them on Twitter, follow them on the thing, like them, find their email, send them an email. Uh, create a pitch story for them by researching about them, create a video of your pitch story and find their phone number, even in a call them. So literally, we are not letting any stone unturned. LinkedIn, Twitter, email, pitch video, only for that person, a video only for that person and literally calling them and pitching them through the phone. All this, you know, I mean, do not, this is, we all have to take this really seriously, right? Because this is a lot of work. But the good thing is this work is a literally, um, I mean, like a one 360 degree approach to selling anything, right? And, and my thing is, if we don't know how to sell our own service, right? How are we going to be able to, you know, uh, convince our clients that we can do this for you? So this 360 degree thing is like, a, it, it could be a massive um, thing if we can pull it off. We can't pull it off for a lot of people. This 360 degree, we cannot pull it for a lot of people. You know, if we can do it for, let's say, 10 people a day, or even like 10 is itself too much, two a day. If we can do two, uh, let's do one a day. If you can do one ideal client a day, that's good enough for all of us, <laughs> right? We identify the, so therefore it's really important, you know, who we identify, right? And then we, the attack is everywhere. It's on LinkedIn, Twitter, email, phone, and then a real pitch for that person. Right. So this is what I'm thinking of as a strategy, guys, you know, uh, but once again, remember, this is not just for us. Everything we discussed today is not just for us. It is also for our client. So we cannot do something for our client if this can only be done by a few people. If this 360 thing can only be done by few people, then this will fail for our clients. Are you guys with me? But, but let's go one by one, right? Um, what we do with LinkedIn, it's clear, right? Done and dusted. There is no doubt about anything for anybody, right? Right? Um, I'll even, you know, distribution happens through HubSpot. HubSpot. Uh, is it get CRM that we are using even now for HubSpot? How do we distribute um, this thing? Is the, the clients land up in get CRM and from get CRM it gets distributed to all the people. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I think, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we need to do the similar kind of thing for Twitter as well. Is that okay, guys? We need to get, get the Twitter uh, into HubSpot and distribute uh, it to um, all people. Uh, maybe by having something called get Twitter or something like that. I don't know. Right? Account. Something like that. I'm just, you know, imagining. Like, you know, so you give, how do you do this, uh, guys? You know, you give 400 of these and you can give maybe a thousand of these to people. 
because I'm not sure in our Twitter has any big limitations. It makes sense or? Uh... Uh, maybe you, you reduce it to, to 400 also because uh, you say sending the same at, at the same time, like if you want to send like 50, you send 50 on LinkedIn and send 50 on Twitter also. Yeah. Okay, cool. The, the, prob the only problem is, you know, uh, with, the, uh, with Twitter, let me explain this problem. Can anybody tell me what could be the problem? Let's say if I share uh, a thousand of these, okay? I've, I've, all, I've got these thousand, okay? And if I share a thousand to Keisha, uh, what, what, what could be the problem on, uh, you know, Twitter? Can anybody just think for one second? What could be a potential problem in Twitter? Because Twitter has a unique problem. Anybody? I think as to me, the problem will be uh, not uh, not all the people will, be have, will, will allow us to send them the message directly. Perfect. So let's say uh, VOA Africa. We want to send a message to VOA Africa. There is nowhere I can send the message. Can you see my screen? I can't message this guy because he has disabled his messaging option. Okay. So let me see um, this one. TV5 Monday Africa. Can I message this guy? Can I message this guy or not? No, but, uh, but try it, tweet and reply. Oh, that. It's a simple question, guys. Can I message this guy or not? Sorry? No, you can. I can. Okay. How 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 is that? How can I do that? Maybe you tweet uh, on your channel. I've clicked already, you know, so I'm already there on this channel. You guys are not familiar with Twitter, is it? Okay, what, so let's say this is a potential client. TV5 Monday Africa is my potential client. What should I do first? I've come here. Keisha has distributed this to, let's say, uh, Shem. And Shem has just come onto this page. What should Shem do first? I think you should try to go uh, through and understand uh, about the client, what the client business is about. Mm. Not really, not really, Chol. Chol, this is not 360 yeah. degree. This is simply fire and forget approach. We don't do research on, on our LinkedIn and our... Um... There I is no research. Him. Yeah. Go ahead, Rita. I think we should follow him first. Perfect. Yes, I have done that. Thank you, Rita. So I have followed him. What should be the second thing I should do? What should do I do second? Yeah. I followed yeah. him. Hmm? Maybe you can reply them as a tweet. Reply. Very good. Very good. I can like their pinned tweet, especially, you know. I can like some of their uh, tweets. I can, uh, but be careful. Always, you know, come to this media, okay, you know, because uh, usually media is where you can see their original tweets. Can you see, if I come to the normal ones, it will show all of their retweets. So, Afric retweeted, retweeted, which means, you know, this is not their original tweet, retweeted, right? So, you will see hundreds of retweet, okay? They are not their original tweet. So, don't waste your time on liking uh, the retweets. Always go to media. Can you see the word media here? Always go to media and always like and retweet. Okay. The original tweet. I've liked. I've liked. 
so many you know when the next time this so when this person logs in he will see some 25 notification correct when tv5 monday africa logs in into twitter next time he will see 25 notifications why can anybody tell me why he will see 25 notifications because you followed him and you've liked his post 25 times <laughs> that's correct rita because i have followed him i have liked i have retweeted so he will like wow who this who who is this person right who is this person who's you know done this they almost always come back and they follow you and they and they you know start to learn more about you so first first thing to do rita what do we do first we first what do you we do follow first? i follow first then you go to media and yeah. like his posts yes. then you you retreat yes i have done that i have done that i have done that what okay done both the things that you told me what is the third thing i need to do and then uh, you can go to inbox and yeah uh, how do i go to in how do i go to his inbox ah uh, there there is a envelope here yeah up here yeah message yeah that's where you go so i click on the message mm. and it says direct messages correct yeah okay so what should i send him here is what i'm going to send him oh oh one second huh? uh so i mean i haven't really prepared this message properly right but um look at what i've done okay i've done a little bit of uh, obviously i've i've tried to sell immediately mm i have tried to sell you know immediately to this guy but i will try not to do that here so i won't say hi dave right hi Hello. i hope your offline ventures is doing well so obviously i have done some research and uh, you you remember my first line is always you know something about that person right but um i'm not teaching that right now so le let me do that later okay so here's a story but here look at it right i'm pitching a twitter story right that's it and then enter can you see what i've just now done t i have just sent a message to tv5 monday right with a simple oh sorry with a simple message can can, can everybody see it so this is my first message to tv5 monday right now after like a few days i could send him a second message it's exactly the same thing after a few after a few days you know third message after a few days fourth message after a few days few months fifth message next you know so it's it, go, it keeps going does this make sense and we keep liking we keep you know the more and more you know we keep active the more we are sharing right and we keep in increasing uh, our thing uh, is that is that something that you know this is just a very basic thing that i have you know just come along with you to you know do this we can make it even more sophisticated we can learn a lot more about twitter we can try to follow like retweet um, direct message and then we'll figure out what else we should do make sense is this something that uh, we should be able to pull it off right um in twitter i mean come on yeah guys. yeah this, I think this is easy really easy you know you don't have to you know I mean, this is easy right um just based on what you have learned on twitter can you tell me what one thing that we are missing big time on linkedin we've been working on linkedin for nearly 3 years 
and uh, we just saw you know twitter you know just now huh? can you guys tell me um what we are missing you know one one thing that we did here on twitter we don't do it on linkedin what is that one thing that we did here on twitter we do not do that at all on linkedin anybody i can uh, i can say liking and sharing exactly exactly jackson that's absolutely right we do not <laughs> we we I mean we do sometimes you know it's not like we don't do it at all i've seen you know ali uh, always you know liking and but the but the only thing you know i've seen is we only like or share the clients who are currently paying for us <laughs> or you know we never we never i have never seen anybody like you know like normal clients who didn't you know hire you am i right when i say this <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's what i've always noticed you know ali i especially i've seen ali james um you know edi i've seen all of you guys you know like and share the the uh, the the post of your clients who are your current clients as soon as they stop being your clients you don't do it <laughs> right uh is that, that that we should try and you know uh, learn that the more like because it's just nothing it's literally going to cost you nothing you just like one tap right tak 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 you know just keep scrolling and tapping scrolling and tapping scrolling and tapping that's it right literally you know it's it's literally the least amount of data right so and it still makes a huge impact because 99% of your client that you're connected with no one is liking or sharing their post you will be one of the very few who will be doing it so uh, that is something that we need to learn how to do it okay um that's the second uh, aspect right so like i said you know uh, we want to learn two things um so we have learned linkedin and we have learned twitter um this particular uh, um uh uh this particular thing right linkedin how how do i um where should i you know um mention this right so otherwise you know you'll not remember you know mm. um first things first i'll call it first things first and then say like every day like and like i'll put this in quotes at least 100 plus post on linkedin that all of your client connections have posted on that day is it too big like at least 100 plus post on linkedin that you are clients have posted on that day yeah that's easy and then share at least 10 of the best post so like and then share like you can do 100 share you can do 10 you know is that a good way to start your day like come in like or share um, whether it is linkedin whether it is um, you know your clients so you know you, so always start with your clients and always try to do it for your um, the same thing you know like and share all of the post uh, done by step up one right that should be the third thing every day first things first this is the first thing that you should be doing 
right? And then uh, the and then the connection message. Um, in terms of you know um, days, right? Um, Do we need, um, how do we, uh, you know, um, how do we, uh, this is day one. This is, let's say, day two. This is day three. Because this is like one, two, three, like one, two, three, fire away immediately. So day one, day two, day three means, you know, as soon as you can, right? But this one will look like a spam if you fire it on the fourth day. So you can send this on day, uh, let's say, 10. This can be put on day 20. And this can be done on day 30, so 10 days later. Am I making sense, uh, guys, this one? Well, what is this day, day meaning? So that you know, um, like, you know, this is the how, you know, how much time you need to give. It gives you a sense of time. Don't send the fourth and the fifth message, you know, in like one day after the other. You know, give at least a 10 day break between the fifth and the fourth, right? And then I'll keep, we'll keep coming with more and more messages, day 40, right? I'll keep coming with more and more ideas, new content that you can share, you know, which you can share on a 10 day interval. And does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Am I forgetting anything? Twitter. Uh, hi, Anas. Yeah. I think it, the, the first message, first day and second day and third day, sending three three messages. It is bring a problem or is so it doesn't. Uh, why should it bring a problem? You know, I'm not able to understand. Well, you <laughs> say the, the third message wait, no, first message wait after 10 days. The those three messages are only three days, within three yeah. days. Yeah, because, you know, this is more like, you know, hey, I want to connect with you. Hey, here is why I connected with you. Hey, would you like to, you know, uh, hire us? So one, two, three just goes like bang, bang, bang. After that, if you don't get any response, after that, you don't get any response, send something nice after a lot of time, 10 days later, 20 days later, 30 days later, 40 days later, 50 days later. Uh, but you can still, you can still send the first day, uh, the, the first message and still send it there and then yeah. like uh, the second message you send it after two days or three days, still the same. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. First, first second and third, one, two, three, you know, you can do it within one week, right? But don't send the fourth, fifth and sixth, you know, give 10, 20 days, you know, time. Make sense? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. People are really quiet. Mm -hmm. um, so LinkedIn is nice and clean. Um, Okay. 
Yes, one second, I'm in the meeting. So, in, um, in, okay, so yeah, land is yours, and that's it. Okay. Yeah, I think, uh, Yeah, lend us your voice to by lend us your voice by sharing. Yeah, that's it. So this is the first message in Twitter, right? Uh, I think, you know, I need to collect, correct all these things because you see, you know, these are all LinkedIn stories and I need to change them into Twitter stories, basically. Need to do some more picking. Okay, cool. Okay, so uh, we need to, uh, one thing which is missing is, you know, uh, how do we do start this uh, campaign on Twitter? I'm just thinking, let's try to do it through HubSpot, keep it nice and simple and see how it, uh, how we get on with it, okay? I think the last and the most important thing is the 360 degree, you know, approach. It's nothing, guys. You know, 360 degree approach is really nothing. My only worry is the 360 degree approach, right, is there in two places. One, it is easy to do this, you know, when you have an Apollo account. Very, very easy to do it. So you go to your Apollo account, you go to your search, you go to your list, right? It's so easy to do this. But then we can't do this at scale, right? So, so, so easy. There are 10,000 people here right now in this one search. All I have to do is keep going one by one. Start with um, Arjun, click on his LinkedIn. Um, and then once I finished LinkedIn, then I go to, you know, um, you know, other things and then keep going one by one by one. So, so if I look at this, I think, uh, yeah, you know, um, one more thing which I'm finding it very interesting here is, you know, in our 360 degree approach, whatever we need to do, uh, let's say, you know, we come, uh, let's take one example, you know, um, this one, right? Andrew Parkinson, co-founder and managing director of Sifter, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is click on Andrew Parker. So I'm going to go into Andrew Parker. Um, obviously, what what should I do after going to Andrew Parker? Anybody? Just can somebody just rattle out what should I do? So I've just clicked on Andrew Parker. I'm doing my 360 degree sales approach with Andrew Parker. What is the first thing I should do with Andrew Parker? Nobody? Come on, guys. Let me see about the services or maybe the product. I'll, yeah, no, I think um, we need to follow a, a, a you know, a, a blind strategy first, right? So, so Andrew Parker, yeah, we can just learn a little bit about him, read about him, blah, 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 et cetera, nutritional service from Chicago. You know, he takes a lot of back boxes. He's a co-founder managing, it's, you know, it's all you know, good. So do a bit of a research. Yes, of course. Always do a, you know, 
you know bit of a um, bit of a research right you know we never you know let anybody what what is the first thing we need to do uh, with andrew parker i've done the research i have ticked him as a good client and i'm going to attack him 360 degree what should i do first come on guys you need to tell me you need to talk to me quickly don't have all the time what should i do first with andrew parker before i do anything yes rita go ahead uh follow his activities excellent absolutely excellent now i've come to his activity okay just like in twitter i told you right um uh i told you to click on you know media similarly click on post here okay because all activities will have is retweet re everything okay so always click on post i hope you can see the word post here right so click on post like right i'm just starting to like i just like this one if you can comment on it that will be even more better like right 1 2 3 4 right 5 6 7 this guy is really you know really you know uh, which is why i'm doing a lot but i'm going to keep 10 okay so 10 likes 9 and 10 okay so i've just i've done i've liked 10 of his uh, things what should i do next uh, rita what should i do next connect <laughs> and then send that first message yes okay cool connect excellent that's what i'm doing right now connect um i don't have space uh, for anything so i'm just put hi i think i need to reduce this uh, thing you know i don't like uh, such tight messaging i need to reduce this right but i'm just not i don't have time to waste so i'm I, what should me. i do yeah excuse me mr nish yes go ahead so is that message regarding to the research you made towards his uh, uh, his uh, profile or it's a gen it's a general message oh no this is just a simple you know no research uh, my take is um the research can kick in uh, with the people who connect back with you don't bother doing research uh, about for sending the first uh, message i may be wrong in this what i'm saying i may be completely wrong but i'm i'm really thinking you know it will become too many too many people to do research for you yeah but uh, um and even if you do research and even if you find some amazing thing you're going to be really struggling with uh, words okay so all your research we can send it on an email to andrew okay my first thing is you know um um excuse me it's a question yes go go ahead um i'm asking whether this can work on the clients that have already connected that you have sent a first message and second message and third message so can i do research on them and then send a fourth message and all that you've been saying or oh, it only works on this uh, it's a new thing that we are doing on new clients excellent question rita who can answer this question excellent question who can answer this question ah uh, uh, maybe I, i think you you're going to start doing that when you have a uh, new uh, contacts or uh, you believe No. who can answer this question that was not an answer 
Maybe the people are sending emails to uh, those clients. Uh, no, she's asking a simple question, Chol. The question she's asking is, should we only do this for the new connections we are going to give her? Or can she take these seven, eight, nine, ten messages that we have now come up with and start sending it to even those people who, you know, has already connected with her? It's a very simple, direct question. Anyone can answer this question? Okay, I think the, uh, the first people you've connected with, you have already sent uh, the messages which are similar with the uh, first message and the second message. So maybe you start uh, sending them uh, with uh, using the third message and the fourth message. Yeah, that's a good answer. That's a, that's a decent answer. Anything else? Yeah. So depending on, you know, what you have sent um, as a first message um, and second message, you can definitely send, you can definitely send, you know, uh, again, the first new, new first message that we have, we have got, okay? Or you can start from the third message or you can start from the fourth message. It's up to you, Rita, but you can start, sending let's say from the third message every 10 days you can send the third message after 10 days you can send the fourth one after 10 days you can send the fifth one right after 10 days you can send the sixth one for all your existing connections so that we wake them up uh, with newer and newer content every uh, you know 10 days so yes it's a great question and all of you should do that Okay, what did I do right now? I did what just Rita told me. I just, you know, sent her, uh, sent uh, Andrew a connection request, right? Just in front of you. First, what did I do? I liked. Yes, Mr. Nisa, I have a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yes, ahead, of course, you started, yes, you started by liking Andrew's uh, activities mm -hmm. and sharing them. Mm -hmm. In fact, before even connecting with him, what, what does that uh, uh, simplify? Are we trying like, because you haven't connected with Andrew, but we are liking and sharing his uh, activities. Like, what are we trying to like to capture from Andrew? Is it his attention? Um, anybody? Come on, guys. Somebody can answer this question. What are we trying to do by liking and sharing Andrew's, uh, you know, old post? Can I answer? Yes, please. Um, we are trying to, call, to create a relationship between uh, between us and our our clients, such that they can trust us. Yeah, that's a big that's a big statement, right, Rita? You know, yeah, we want to create a relationship, blah blah blah. You know, but why are we liking and uh, commenting and uh, you know uh, you know somebody's post? To get the to give them the morale to connect back, and um, give us attention to read what we are sending to them, we are bad selling to them. You know we are trying to sell uh, the idea to them, so to, we are trying to attract their attention to buy what we are selling. E Yes and no. I'm not a huge expert. Anyone else, uh, you know, can give a better answer. You know, uh, both the answers Rita gave is not is good. Is good answer, but it, you know, why? Like what? Like let's say you know, I'll ask this question to Jackson. Let's say Jackson, you have put a few posts on um, LinkedIn. If I came and liked ten of your posts. What does that tell you when you log in again? You see that I have liked, you know, ten of your old post. What does it tell you? What? How do you feel about it, Jackson? Yes. Uh, when you like my uh, my activities, mm -hmm. uh, what will come in my mind is like my profile has impressed you, mm -hmm. or you have something special that you Yeah. Regarding on what I've been, uh, on what I've been sharing or posting. Yeah, I mean, I, I just feel good, you know. I mean, 
if if somebody has liked all my 10 posts or five or two or one and shared or commented you know if somebody commented i feel super excited if somebody just shared it i feel excited if somebody has just liked i feel good <laughs> that's all you know there is no there is nothing you know uh, secretive or magical about any of these things it's very simple if somebody liked your post commented on it and shared on it you feel good that's nothing else honestly you know you're not trying to sell anything to that person you're not trying to get their attention you're not trying to um, you know make a relationship none of that is true if 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 let's say jackson came and liked 10 of my post i don't think i'm going to build a relationship with him <laughs> right i'll have a smile on my face maximum nothing else you know mr nish you're right but it comes a question why him because if it's linkedin or if it's twitter there's so many uh, other people there but why did you prioritize a certain to, to like share and even comment that's a very interesting question yes farah you having an answer or you have something else to say yes uh i i had i have an answer so when someone likes my post that actually uh, shows that this person is interested or um it's like an affirmative to what i have shared so whenever we uh, like a client's uh, post that shows them that uh, we we say like kudos what you're doing yeah that's true but uh, you have not answered this question you know when there are millions of people on linkedin why andrew or why somebody there's so many people on linkedin yes may i give you my personal yes. okay yes, this please. is personal for me if for someone likes or kunne or likes so many posts of mine what comes in my mind is that they want uh, they want me to be okay to build a relationship whether that would be my friend or some business that's what i think to me if you like so many um posts that i have and share them that's what i always think sure that's a good thing rita uh but uh, the question that uh, you know jackson is asking is you know why andrew why not you know hundreds of other people who are on linkedin the answer to that is really simple jackson uh, the answer is because you know we, we have identified all these people and we have given it to you so these are all your potential clients so you are simply liking commenting sharing your potential clients post is that clear answer jackson why andrew and why not somebody john yeah um, it's clear uh, mr nis uh, my, my only worry is we have we have liked commented and shared before even connecting with that very person i would have said 100% yes uh if we had already connected but we haven't it's the first step and you have done all those maybe if it's we can call it a, a magical approach maybe yes i'm yeah i mean um, there is nothing to worry no i'm i'm not able to understand why you're worried uh whether you like it before or after i would prefer before because before basically says okay this person saw me this person read all my post and this person felt he liked my post and shared it and commented on it and then this person thought he should connect with me that is the best sequence right it's not like you know you connect with me and then you start liking you know then it's completely useless or i i'm doing all these things so that you will connect back with me right once you connect with me then it becomes relationship building if i if you connect with me you know if i keep liking and posting and remind then it's more like you know i'm 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 trying to build a relationship with you okay the the first one if when you like comment and share somebody's post before connecting you are trying to tell them i'm interested in what you're doing i'm interested in your profile i'm interested in your post 
I'm interested in your content. I like them. I share them and I'm commenting on them. You're sending them a message, right? When you do no, the same thing, when you do the same thing after he's connected, now the meaning is very different. You you continue to like and you continue to build a relationship with that person. Makes 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 sense, Jackson. Understanding is that's true. Yeah, I, I got you. Now it, it brings a lot of sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, many things I'm not explaining properly because, you know, even I don't know all of these things, you know, very clearly, uh, but, uh, you know, we all learn together. So, um, so we, 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 we start with, yes, Isha. Uh, how are you, Anis? Not too bad. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I think uh, when someone is following my, uh, is uh, liking my posts, mm -hmm. Uh, directly what comes in my mind is that uh, that person is closely following up on me. Yes. yes. So the relation comes because uh, he's closely following up on me. Absolutely. Absolutely correct. That's what I think. Okay. So what have I done so far, guys? I have, um, you know, uh, what did I do so far? I went, I saw Andrew. I liked Andrew's post. I, sh I can comment on Andrew's post. You know, I don't have much to say, but I'm just going to say, wow, this is amazing. I love it. And that's it. <laughs> you see what I did. <laughs> I mean, you know, I read it, but I'm not able to, you know, um, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I can think and come up with something nicer and better and relevant to what they are talking in food and health and all those things. But uh, hey, hey. So I liked him, I commented on him, I connected with him. What should I do next? So I think, uh, yeah, what should I do next? Connected, uh, which you, you send the first message or maybe, uh, yeah, the send the first message. If it's not responding, you send the other message. You keep following up with them. Mm -hmm. No, 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 wrong, wrong, wrong. So my, anyway, you know, my message is pending with him and, you know, what should I do about him? Um, no, nobody is getting a, a good idea. Anyone, come on guys, think. So Andrew is not somebody who's just, you know, hanging on LinkedIn, right? He's the co-founder of Sifter. What can I do next? So I'm still on LinkedIn. You can say, okay, go to Twitter and start, you know, looking at what you can do with Andrew on Twitter, right? I'm going to do that, but there is a lot to be done on LinkedIn itself. What should I do with Andrew on LinkedIn? If I, if I tell you, Liking the commenting and the sharing, I think the next step will be uh, connecting with Mr. Andrew. I've done that. I've already connected with Andrew. I, I, did you not see? I already connected with him just now in front of your eyes. I sent him the first message. What should I do after that? Wait for Mr. Andrew to connect back with us. No, no, I'm not going to wait for him. I have so much to do. You remember, this is a 360 degree attack. I have the whole day to work on this guy. I'm going to work for the next eight hours on Andrew. You will keep, it, you will keep reading for what he did. Yes, yes, Kedamu. Yes. Uh, you will keep reading on what he did and what he is interested in. Mm -hmm. And then you, 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 you structure a good message that you will send to him next time. Yeah. Um, no, Kidamu, you know, there are so many things I can do without using my brain. Okay. 
I will start using my brain, you know, little later. But there are so many things I could do without waking up my brain cells, like re research on Andrew, research on his company, you know, come up with the right relationship message, all that I can do because all that I need my brain cells and I need to work on it, etc. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I can do it first or I can do it later. But I'm just going to look at what and all I can do. Come on, guys, don't, don't be sleeping. Come on, everybody wake up. What can I do? I've connected with this guy. You have been working with LinkedIn for years now. So what can I do with Andrew to make him think that I'm super interested in Andrew and everything about Andrew? If I can give it a try, Mr. Nis. You can always do it a try. All right. And then at my own point of view is that you keep liking and sharing Andrew's activities. No, that's uh, not a point of view. Sorry. That's just uh, keep liking and sharing. Yeah, that's what is it? That's nothing. You can do it every day. You know, that's not an approach. What can I do? I've already liked him. I've already connected with him. What next I should be doing? Yes, can you still send, send an email? I can send an email, but there is so much to do on LinkedIn before I go to email. You know, I have to do so many. I have like eight hours of work in front of me. I have to do a lot of work on LinkedIn, a lot of work on Twitter, a lot of work on email, a lot of research and create a video, then send, a, you know, so many things I have to do. But there is so oh, much can, to do. You can share, this, can share his stuff also. Maybe yeah, I have done that. Can share the... Yes, yes, I have done that already. I have shared, I have uh, commented, I have liked. What next? What what else can I do on LinkedIn? Mm, can you just make it so to get his attention? Sorry, Paul, not able to hear you clearly. Yeah, can you like his yeah. post to get yeah. his attention? Um, can you what like his post? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we have done that, Paul. We have liked more than ten of his post. We have already mm, done I that. Think I can do that. <laughs> we have already done that. So the next thing we do, guys, I, I think I know a lot of you are completely blanked out. I'm I'm surprised that you know you guys are not able to think further. Remember, you know, when you see Andrew, what is the biggest thing that you see on a screen? His photo is small, but something else is very big. He cares less about himself and he cares more about the company. <laughs> no. I think they're yes. selling, they selling food. Yes. Nutrition. He cares. No, the simple answer is he cares more about his company. So, what have we done about his company on LinkedIn? Come on, guys. I'm a bit disappointed with all of you. Oh, follow the company. Exactly. And like the companies. Exactly. Exactly. You have you have followed this person. Now, what you do? What the hell is this guy doing? He is the founder of this company, Shifter. Click on Shifter. Go to Shifter. Right? And, and, and look at the number of employees. There are 27 employees. That means, you know, it's a very decent company. It's a decent company, big enough company. And it's trying to, you know, uh, do something with food and diet, etc., etc. First thing to do is exactly what Rita just told. Follow the company. Click on follow. I've clicked it. Right? Just click in. And this was the original company that he created. So I'm going to follow that as well. And I think this Chaudi organization is also something that he, for this thing, so I may or may not follow that, but it's, you know, it's up to you. You can follow that, right? Then what am I going to do? Bang, bang, like all the posts of his company, right? How will I do it? See all post. <laughs> uh, 
go to post. I'm really surprised that you guys, you know, uh, didn't pick it up actually. It's such an easy one. Just. Uh, see, if you want to stand out, you know, you look at these things, nobody's talking. You can really, you know, comment about it. Okay. Zero comments. Right. Comment if you can comment. I'm so bad at commenting, but you know what? I have to, you know, I don't excuse know. me, Mr. Yes, Jackson. Yes, I have to uh, take some views on commenting thing. Uh, so at some point, um, my personally, I do feel afraid on commenting because yeah. I, can't, I can't really tell how this my comment will augur to the receiver. Is it a good idea to comment on people's stuff? It, it is the best thing that you can do on planet Earth. Comment. It's the best thing. My, the, okay. Because everyone, including me, is scared of commenting. <laughs> right? But it is the best thing that any one of you can do. The best. Without any question. It is 100 times better than liking or sharing. 100 times better. If you could comment. Cool. You know, uh, I'm just going to do something cheeky, right? Food as medicine. Cool. I'm just going to get a quote and comment over there. <laughs> hey, you have some nice food there. <laughs> you know, because I'm just like, you know, I'm so scared of commenting. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a quote. I'm going to come to the thing because this he's talking about food as medicine. So I'm going to just put that. Let food be thy medicine and let medicine be thy food. <laughs> That's it. Right? I wouldn't do too much. You know, one comment is good enough, right? But, but this is an amazing playground to practice your commenting abilities. <laughs> I just like, you know, just a cheeky way. Even, even you can say, wow, that's a great idea. Wow, that's a good news. Wow, that's beautiful. Simple comments is also as good as complicated quotes that I just now put, right? So don't be afraid of commenting like me. You know, be, be free to, you know, express yourself um, in all of these places. Okay. Um, let me capture the thing. Okay. So I have followed it. I have looked at his post. I have commented on that. What should I do next? So very important thing you can do here, guys, all these guys, you know, uh, come on, you know, the, the clue is right here, you know, in this post here, home, you know, while you're re reading, you know, make sure that you read all these things, right? And, you know, so that it gives, it's, it's a much better place to read about the company um, than everywhere else, right? So you have done post. Okay, there's one very important thing you can learn while you are here. What is that thing, anybody? There is one very important thing you can learn about Sifter and Andrew in this particular page. And I think uh, we can learn two things from here. The first one is what this company does. And, uh, and the second thing is their target audience. Um, yes, yes, uh, Farah, that's all, you know, implicit learning, but I'm looking for something explicit. Explicitly, you can learn something really 
something powerful by clicking at one of those company tabs. Wow, nobody? That's really surprising. Let me show you. Jobs. If you click on jobs, and if Sifter is looking for any hiring, they typically would put the job alert over here. I don't know whether you guys remember. This is such an important uh, insight. It will even come, you know, uh, here, uh, like, for example, uh, you know, um, in a, if you have installed Apollo, um, you, can you see that? Yes, the yes, yes. So overview, it's showing about Sifter, 27 employees, $1 million, $6.2 million so far raised, right? There's a lot of details, good details, right? When they raised money and hiring, it will pick up everything that Jobs is putting over here. Okay, the if they are hiring social media experts, VP of sales, VP of you know, then this is a perfect opportunity for you, right? Let's see if any, you know, I'm just going to go to other companies and see if you know any of them are uh, put something. Okay, just give me one second so that I can show you an example. Because when we were looking at this yesterday, we saw a lot of companies who are hiring, right? Are you guys able to follow what I'm saying? So this, this, there won't be anybody here because, you know, but let me just click on it so that uh, nobody will be there. Okay. You guys with me? What does, can somebody explain what does this jobs, you know, bring, uh, teach you, tell you? If something is there in this job, what does it tell you? It simply tells us that this company is looking for, yeah, people to, to hire. Exactly. And what, what does that mean to you? Look at that. To me, yeah, to me, if they are like looking for sales, marketing and all that, that's a perfect opportunity uh, for us. Exactly. So I'm showing you renovation brands. They are looking for an engineer, a sales manager, a showroom sales manager, uh, another engineer and a technician. Is this relevant to you? They have, they've got four jobs listed here. Is any of these relevant to our company? I think the one that will capture, yeah, the showroom uh, sales manager will actually capture my attention. However, I need like uh, to go inside and see the qualifications or maybe the the deliverable the deliverables that they are uh, actually yeah. expecting from this person. Yeah, I mean. Uh, you can do that, right? You can come inside, read all these responsibilities, skills, everything, and then you can make a decision. Uh, no, this is not for me. Obviously, a showroom sales manager is somebody who's expected to be on site, standing in the showroom and selling, right? So you can immediately come to the conclusion that all the four jobs listed here is of no use to you. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. Ah, uh, look at that. Look at that. Director of search engine SEM and PLA. 
marketing analyst right software automation qa contact center representative accounting manager packing operator material handler we don't need we can't do any of these so so there must be something that is interesting to you marketing analyst right immediately click on that but it is it is mainly for you know you know yeah it's not something that you can do right this is not a job that you can do so you can you can basically say okay no issues you know i'm okay and it's also saying you know they need them on philippines on site so obviously you're not in philippines and you're not going to be able to so you're okay so you know this is a gold mine typically when they when when any of these companies are hiring people which will be listed over here in their thing it immediately gives you a gold mine of information that they are looking for um uh looking for you know uh people vp of sales vp of marketing uh social media marketing you know there are thousands and thousands of you know uh that people there that actually gives me a little bit of um an in interesting analysis if i go to jobs and if i search let's say social media just social media jobs experience level is internship entry level associate i'll take it uh job type i'll leave it as search okay on site i want to do remote only yeah only remote okay uh no this is a very very different um uh level of uh, thing i'm just like just tempted to look at this right uh ah why is it showing me only us uk it should show me everywhere right oh because i've said uk us okay okay let's say uk product manager blah 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 la 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 no i think this is going to be very very hard for you so uh, when i was looking into it last time uh, uh, it's like the the trying to recruit uh, people to be employing them to give them jobs they don't come yeah. direct like uh, it's a company looking for job but a few companies comes direct yeah but you you could take this as a you know a, a thing to reach out to them isn't it what's wrong with that yeah sure you can use that way yeah yeah but maybe you know you yeah, look at this digital marketing executive something like that yeah brook street fully remote let me click on that yeah it's uh so look at this guy somebody is you know he's trying to sell to me thanks for connecting are you looking to create any upcoming real estate funds then raise capital through one <laughs> you know look look at what is wrong with this message guys so he tried to connect with me i connected with him and then he's asking me a question are you looking to create any upcoming real estate funds then raise capital through one he's asking me a question what is wrong with this question anybody yeah 
there's a lot of things wrong with it no uh, anyway we'll discuss this you know at a later point in time but it's it's another very interesting uh, thing you know i don't want to digress um but we we'll, we we'll, we'll try to see you know uh, maybe with a very small team how we can look for jobs using social media upwork uh, fiber and other things you know um in a very interesting way right so let's do that uh, another time um but going back to sifter uh, the 360 degree approach uh, have we done everything that we can do uh, as far as linkedin is concerned is there anything else that we could have possibly done on linkedin so we have covered the linkedin profile of our client we have completely covered um, you know oh, i followed this guy why it's not okay. i follow i follow the thing i liked all his um, you know uh, post oh, what happened actually right so i'm following them i have liked all their post i have tried to look whether they are you know hiring anybody in jobs they are not what do I, what do i do next what should i do next watch their videos always watch their videos there is no nothing better than watching people's videos because this is his pitch what what can i do guys anybody what else can i do am i done with the linkedin should i go to you know uh, twitter i am assuming you will you know how to find the twitter page of sifter the facebook page of uh, sifter like this it's not should not be rocket science hopefully mostly it should be there you know uh, here itself but uh, if it is not there um if you if you, if, if you can't find you know the other things just go to their website go to their website and web from their website you will be easily be able to come back um to you know if you go down typically they will have hmm where is their uh, facebook and linkedin pages it's really surprising usually these people will have it so i'm going to go to about section oh very really surprising they do not have a they do not have but it's okay just search for sifter in um, you know and search for sifter i have come here Uh, same thing like like you know like like comment like like comment you know nothing uh, nothing massive and finally just you know um send them a message is this is this clear guys or is it something that's really you know um i am i'm i'm glad that we you know really are going through everything in detail it's really simple you know finish linkedin profile finish uh, you know company profile uh, finish um, twitter both again twitter the same thing you know personal profile and the company profile facebook uh, i think facebook just do the company profile don't do personal profile right um what are, what is left uh, email making a video for them um so now we, we can't just be you know uh, we have to do our core research right um and i'm thinking how do we do this let me pause it here uh, and then i'll uh, let's discuss quick